Welcome to the Ginger GM Show. Okay, right. Well, sorry, I'm I'm still messing about with uh, some music, which um, you know I'm just doing a little bit of different things. Um, but I thought I'd uh, throw some free minute chess at you. So, um, oh my words, I'm playing my good friend Simon Ansel, and <laughs> this is really funny because I've just had a meeting with Simon Ansel and uh, I've been meeting him on Skype because he is the guy, Simon Ansel, who is also in charge of Ginger GM. He runs the website. So if anything goes wrong with Ginger GM, you have to blame Mr. Ansel. Don't blame me. Blame blame the Ansel monster. Um, I'm just going to tell him we're recording and I might even give him up, up, on the, up on camera. Okay, let's see if I can get him up on camera. Are you up for going on camera? Going on camera? Uh, after this game, after this game, let's just see, shall we? Um, so we'll see. So that's really funny because Simon, like I say, he he basically helps run Ginger GM. So I'm going to see if he, we can get a camera of him up as well to really embarrass him. Um, but that's really, really, really funny. Um, and he's just told me he's put a pizza in the oven, so he's he's not sure if he can face the camera. Okay, well, this will be embarrassing if I lose to uh, Simon. Not that he's a bad player, but we're going to have to call it uh, Simon Ansel, basically um, a GM or IM, whatever it is. But he's a very good friend, and we're just going to play some random chess, see how this gets on. Okay, so I have played what we call the hippo. Uh, another word for this opening is crap. Um, it's not a particularly great opening. I would say you, you, you probably shouldn't try this opening at home. But okay, you get a couple of uh, uh, atta attacking chances. And Simon, Simon, I'll tell you what he said. Let me just see if I can get a little box up of the Skype thing. I hope he's not going to be too rude. Um, and this was Simon's last comment so we're going to put that up there what the fuck is your rating um, <laughs> and i will have to tell him uh don't ask rather drunk uh which i think is um uh a fair comment if you saw if you were lucky enough or unlucky enough to see my stream what was it it was on a saturday night so that was uh yeah it went rather wrong so we're going to see if he has any comments but in the meantime What's happening here? Well, I'm a little bit cramped, but we're going to try to do some rearranging. And my position's probably, I have to be honest, not that bad at the moment. I mean, it's not its not the end of the world, is it? And Simon is going for a crush. Um, so I'm hoping he's overextended himself. Come on, Mr. Williams, don't get mated on H7. And he is playing super aggressive, so... Of course, we like we like anyone who plays aggressive. I'm going to try to get my queen around to g7 just to give my king a little bit of uh, better protection. So now what plan am I going to have next? Well, I'd like to sort of do something active. And I think I have to play this move at some point. Luckily, my knight here defends this knight. And I am certainly still in danger of getting absolutely crushed here. Oh, my words. Um... So the problem is he's got this f5 move. I really don't like this move. Um, so I'm going to have to try and kick this knight back, I think. His knight is such a pain. So I'm going to have to go h6. And, of course, Simon is going mental. Um, and, like, you know, everyone who works with Ginger Jim is basically a mental attacker. You know, if you, if you have your CV when you apply for a job at Ginger Jim, there's only two of us. We might have some offerings, openings later on. The one important thing on the CV is that you have to be a mental attacker. And unfortunately here, I'm getting crushed. And Simon has passed the test. I set him this little test, of course, to see if he'd pass, of course. And he's passing with flying colours at the moment. Um, he is mentally attacking. And I hope he just calms down a little bit. These pawns, Eddie and Freddy... They are looking disgustingly horrible. So, what, are they going to land? Okay, now he's just now he's just going to try to grab this pawn here. So, what can I do with these little guys? I don't like him at all. So, if I go rook here, 
Uh, well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to try and create a blockade. So I'm going to try and force him to go e7 so I can maybe blockade at some point. And what am I doing? I don't know. I'm going to... I don't know what I'm doing. I want to get my king to f7 and things might not be so bad. I didn't realise how quick Simon was. Okay, so let's see. King f7 is my next move. And we're going to try and blockade his pawns where my pieces might be good. But I'm going to have to speed up a little bit here, aren't I indeed? Um, and yeah, my rating is absolutely atrocious. Uh, by the way, I am playing the title Tuesday event, if this video gets to you in time, on Tuesday, believe it or not. And my rating then will try to do some kind of improvements. But in the meantime, I like this now. I like this. This was a crafty little move to make him push his pawn to that square. I like that. Crafty. Because now I have blockaded his dangerous pawns. And he's fallen asleep as well. Maybe his pizza is burning. Maybe the pizza. It's pizza time for Simon. Right, okay. Now, don't lose on time, Mr. Williams. Don't lose on time. What am I doing here? This is the problem I have. Okay, I'm not... Oh, I just take this pawn, don't I? Of course, I need to take this pawn. Let's get rid of those... Get rid of those pawns, okay. Take those pawns, sucker. Okay, don't lose on time. Don't lose on time. Don't lose on time. Okay, well, of course, some peace up. It's got to be good. Am I trapping his bishop? I don't know. Let's give him a check. And hopefully... Well, I'm going to go and take all of his pawns now. Let's take them all and push. Push, come on. Come on, queen. Come on, queen. Come on. Oh my words, I'm so slow. Why is he so quick? Why is he, what have I done? Ah, oh, I tricked him. <laughs> very dirty, very dirty play there. And um, let's just bring up how his response is going to be. We've got live comments on the game. So we're going to see his reactions there. Um, uh, I will let him know that um, I'm recording your comments. Lots of laughs. laughs. So, sorry about the bad language. Um, and his connection hung for a bit near the end there, which was quite handy for me, I have to say. Um, hi, Twitch. Uh, <laughs> YouTube, my friend. YouTube. And I think we've got to get him on. But let's, let's have a rematch anyway. Um, okay, so I'll tell you what we'll do. Should we do a best of four? Um, best of four games with video for the last game how about that guys so this is off the, off the cuff a little bit of random blitz um don't accept the rematch going to eat oh no he's had enough he's had enough he's out of there he doesn't want to be he wants to be famous in 10 minutes okay so i'll try to get a um a game with someone else now and we'll, we'll, we'll get simon back another time um well, I think my mini my mini uh, idea for this should be just to get over 2,400. So I think like last time, I'll, I'll keep playing until I lose maybe, let's say, should we say two games or one game? Depends on what mood I'm in. But definitely, definitely, as soon as I lose um, two games, that's it. That's me gone. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Um, okay, now I, I this Queen C2 move, I don't normally play. But I'm... Um, I had a look at it yesterday in a show that I did for chess.com. Now, I can't actually remember the theory on G6, so I'm kind of making it up here uh, as I go along. It's it's an idea, quite an interesting idea, that you avoid the, the manoeuvring of the knight on B1, which can come in handy later on. Okay, well, this is not so exciting. Once I put my queen on B3, you, you should generally in this type of structure go for this c5 move with the idea of trying to push this pawn up the board but my opponent has countered this by swapping on b1 which is quite interesting because it gives me the bishop pair and am i worried about any checks i don't i don't think these checks are really that scary are they um so it's only one check and my king comes here i'm just going to castle try to use my bishop pair a bit later on i think uh, the double pawns are not so bad here. Uh, he'd probably have to play a6 at some point, otherwise I get a lot of play on the a file. Are my bishops good? I mean, I don't know. He can always go knight to h5 now and actually get rid of this bishop, which I hope he 
doesn't do because that's my advantage. Maybe then I'll try to move my bishop around to c7 because that's the only way I can try to unbalance this rather dull position. This is very unlike me. Okay, so he's coming here. I'm, I'm a bit more happy with this move. And I'm now going to go for a plan, slow plan of going knight e1. I want to move my rook here on the other side of the knight. I want to go knight e1, f3 to push this knight back. So a great way of playing with bishops. And he's going to go for this move here of e5. So let's just tuck my bishop on h2. It's a nice safe square there. A way you should play against knights when you have bishops is... Um, and let me just calculate if I should take here or not. No, I think I'm going to go here. It's to try to kick them back. So this is what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to kick this knight back and play this. But it is a very, it's not like my normal kind of position this by any means. Now I should take with the pawn because otherwise c5 drops. And this is certainly an annoying knight. Um, now I could go for knight here, but then he'll go f5. Um, now, where does this knight want to go? I think I even want to not go knight d2 because, I, I again, I want to use this technique that you're supposed to use. I don't know if it's going to work, though, because my, my pawn structure is not really holding itself together. But you are meant to, again, like I say, push the knights back slowly. So I'm going I'm to stick with this. And this is certainly an annoying knight, but his knight is now coming to e6. So... I don't have any advantage here at all, I have to admit. If anything, I'm probably a little bit worse once this knight gets to this square. Now, I'm going to get rid of this one. This is this is an annoying, annoying, annoying piece. So we are going to try and maybe... Well, at least my bishop controls the b8 square, which I think is good when I have ideas of this, this pawn coming up the board. Now... And he will pressurize this one again. So yeah, this this is not not going the way I wanted it to. This is what happens when I try to play positional chess. It all goes to crap. Okay, I need to get my bishop into somewhere like d6. I'm worried about a move like a5 at the right moment. And that that was another issue. I'm making my bishop now a bad piece. So my my whole strategy has certainly been a failure here. There's no doubt about that. Okay, well I'm gonna. Again, try to release this bishop. But at some point after a move like this, okay, I'm going to have to now swap off my my potentially my potential advantage there of the two bishops. Opposite card of bishops. And again, this is slightly worse for me. Maybe not the end of the world. Um, I say slightly worse because rook b4 and this pawn it's always my d4 pawn isn't it that I, i'm really suffering with and how do i get this bishop in the game well, i'm going to try to bring it to h3 because i can't really see another another use for it and this is really oh my god this is basically a load of crap i mean that's that's just it's just it's just absolutely crap isn't it why am i even trying to justify this right no more talk let's just try to hustle i mean we're not we're not doing any we're not going anywhere with talk here. We need to we need to play for tricks. Okay. So I'm gonna play quick and try to try to bring some life to my pieces. Now, come on, King. Now, you're the only piece that is active, so I might as well try to use you, baby. And well my opponent I mean if I swap off rooks, there's absolutely no winning chances whatsoever. But if I if I uh Okay, so I'm going to keep them on, but of course this is not what the doctor would really order here, because uh, I have some major problems. Okay, well now, now, now he's allowed my king some access in. Half chances here, half chances. Not many chances, but I will take anything I can possibly get in this position. I'm going to obviously try to take here, but this bishop is a horrible piece, and my time is crap. Come on, quick! Quick, Simon! Speed! I've got to get rid of that pawn. It's too dangerous. And now I've got to play like speedy gone, gone, gonorrheas. Um, famous character from history, speedy gonorrheas. Okay, let's get rid of that one. Thank you very much. It should now be a draw. But time! 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 Why am I playing so slow? 
Why you play so slow, Simon? Why you play so slow? Why? 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 Why you play so slow? Oh, look at that. Stalemate trick coming up. Stalemate trick was there. What is that? What? Oh, what? What? Oh, no. Oh, dear. I'm just playing like such a patzer at the moment. Okay, we'll play again. I, I'm not going to give up now. So I'm going to play until I lose another game. And, oh, dear. I mean, what was that? That was shocking. I picked the wrong opening. I picked the wrong everything. So, look, I'm going to get a run now. I mean, if I lose another game, we're going to have to wait until tomorrow until the title Tuesday stuff. But that, that was just disgusting again. I mean, even at the end there, I mean, I should have been doing all right. It should have been a draw. Um, but my time management held me back. So I'm going for a much more tactical game now because there's going to be no of his queens off the board on move five crap anymore i mean like why why the hell did i do that that's not me i mean i'm sure i can play positionally but i just get bored absolutely bored so not good okay well this is a mainline dragon and uh theoretically i don't know what's happening in this line i don't normally play this line so i'm going to randomly throw my pawns up the board and the speed that my opponent is playing at may indicate that he knows a little bit more than me. So I've literally just given up a B pawn to try and open up a B line. Because when when you've cast on opposite sides, pawns, pawns don't matter so much. So you know what? I'm going to give up this one as well. And it's getting very exciting already. So I take here. He... I don't think that's correct. Let's just go back for now. Because if he goes knight d5, I have queen d8 and his bishop is trapped. And the idea is, if he takes here, what is he going to do about that move? Bang! Put that in your pipe and... Oh yeah! Oh yeah, baby! And that felt good. See, this is what I should do. Don't swap the queens. Oh, well done. You have a check. Don't swap the queens. And, okay, he, he, it's, he can fight on here. And the way I'm playing, I'll probably still end up losing this. So let's let's just not let's just not prematurely uh, let's not prematurely do anything more. We, no one likes a premature person, do they? If you know if you get my drift. Okay, I'm just going to finish this game off. If I lose this, I, I deserve, as some people have said, to have my grandmaster title stripped off me. I mean, if I I think if generally I might just give up chess if I drop any more. You know what? But I'm save. I, okay, my my excuse is. I'm saving it for the title Tuesday event and I'm going to really tomorrow when I'm streaming that crack on and try to take some of these big guys down. Okay, well, you know, I haven't made this as simple as a piece of cake. It's now not a piece of cake. It's something else. It's but okay. I mean, it should be winning his pawns on the queen side. Unlike the last game where he had some very dangerous pawns shouldn't really be moving with my beautiful knight here and now i'm trying to make a way in for my rook so um his rook is stuck here should i exchange off a pair of rooks what's he going to do can i target these ones over here i can go rook here he goes king here um still not finding that way in what about i go here first and just try to play the move d5 maybe that's a way to play now, this check here doesn't necessarily help. Okay, I'm going to go d5. I'm making this more complicated than the bloody well should be. At least my knight's a beautiful piece. So, trying to open up to get through to his king, as usual. Um, pawn takes. I'll probably just go rook takes. Again, my knight is an extra knight, isn't it? He's got a couple of pawns for it, but I don't think his pawns are good enough. And... This idea of d5 is looking like a decent idea. If he ever tries to go rook g1, he hasn't got a check on g6, so that's not going to make me poo my pants either. Um, okay, well, here come my pawns. And now he has a check here. Oh, I don't want to get run into a mating net here and here. Was that his cheeky idea? It certainly was, wasn't it? He had some cheeky idea. If I go king there, he can try to run me into a mating net. So let's just make sure my king finds itself somewhere pretty secure to go to. Um, 
Right, and now I want to try to get my knight to one of these squares to help my pawn force its way through. And the other idea is to bring this guy in. So I'm going to try to get the rook to d2. And as they say, it's a matter of technique, which I don't fucking have any of. So it's going to be damn hard to win. Come on, I'm not losing another game in, in the world of chess ever again. Um, right, let's give him a check. I don't want his king coming to b3. I could have gone rook d2 check first. And now, well, that seems like a decent square. Discovered check there. Might be in a better square, but I want his king to run away so my pawn can promote. And now if he comes back, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move in, I think. And now get this knight d4 check in. And my c-pawn really should suffice here. Um, unless there is some disaster about to await me here. Okay, well, I'm just going to play it safe, I think. Am I? No, he goes king. Okay, what am I doing? Are you going to mess this up, as you always do? If you do, I'm giving up chess for life. I'm not ever playing another game again. God. He's trying to hustle me on the clock as well. I've gone quiet, and you can probably tell why. It's a tense moment. Well, his king's yeah, okay, I'm just, just making sure I polish that game off. What a what a what a bloody waste of technique that was. Technique, a matter of technique. That was a, that was awful technique. Okay, I'll be back and sh I'll be back soon. Okay, so let's get some gambits in, and we're going to go for the French wing gambit. If, if you see my blitz games in the past, you will probably know this as one of my favourite favourite gambits. I enjoy playing this in a number of games, and my opponent's actually done quite a crafty thing there. He's he's managed to swap off my. Um, most dangerous piece which is my light square bishop the light square bishop is a great attacking piece i mean in compensation for the pawn i sacrificed what have i got some people would say absolutely nothing maybe they're right but no i've got a look i've got a cramping little bit of cramping going on over here i got more space i got the center and by sacrificing a pawn in the way that i did um i basically can consolidate my three pawns in the center of the board. Normally in a French, the pawn on d4 would be weak in the advanced French, but it's not in this particular variation. So that is uh, that is the benefit of playing this. Okay, well, let's, let's keep trying. And kind of feel here that, of course, my opponent has a fine position, but things can change. So does he take with a pawn here? Now he's got a lovely square there. Yeah, I'm not not getting enough compensation here. This was this was a bit slack of me. Okay, I need to try and get something rock and rolling here. Like I said, as soon as I lose another game, that's me gone. So I'm going to have to try and create on the king side here um, something, and need to keep this knight in order to create any ideas. Maybe I can try bishop g5, get rid of the bishop, eventually have the this square for my knight. His knight on f5 is a good piece as well. Um, I have a little bit of pressure on a7. That's only because I've lost my pawn on a2. What plans do I have here? And of course he's pushing that. Um, but I was thinking about moving my king and moving my rook to h1 and trying to push Harry. Hello, Harry. How are you doing? He's not. Uh, my pieces are just not impressed with me. Not as impressed as they used to. Well, I can't see much to do except this is very risky because he has g6. If he goes g6, I'm going to have to push Harry up the board. I did this with the idea of attacking this square here. But of course, g6 I can't take because he has an eagle landing on h1. So 
But if he goes G6, I go I go H6. And I've got stuff like Rook eight, F1 coming in. Some spec to live. Spec to live? You know what I mean. Some random attack, should we just say. So let's go. Let's 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 keep punting. Do I have Rook takes F7? No, because he has King G8 at the end. Um, <coughs> that pawn could be a pain. Um, now, if I push this, how am I breaking through here? Well, first of all, let's stop that one with an idea. Maybe bring my Rook around to F2. And I certainly need to just go for it. Go all guns blazing on F7 here. So Rook coming to F2 and just see if I can get there before he gets there. Um, now he's threatening Rook takes. I need to go here. So still have an idea of here and Rook takes F7 and Queen takes G6. Now do I have this move? I do. Bang. That's going to help. Queen takes Rook D2. And that is another pawn break I have. And this now gives me some... Oh, he has a check. Okay, does that make any difference to the situation? He still can't take this pawn, but it does gain him in quite a use, useful tempo there. But okay, now now, now anything is possible. Now that uh, this pawn has got here, any result in this position is entirely possible. So, interesting stuff. And I've got an idea. If bishop takes, I've got rook takes f7 check. What's happening there? Let's give it a go. Boom! Boom! I don't know if it's good or bad, but don't you just love the sound effects? Okay. Now, we are going to take there. And what is this position all about? Well, this is certainly... Now, I could win the bishop, but then he takes that pawn. I'm not even going to do that. This is certainly more fun than a lot of the other games. Maybe I should have won the bishop. Now, does he have any checks? Not really. I don't think he's got anything I need to worry about here. I say, and then he checks mate. Me, then he checkmates me. So I'm going to use these pawns. Look at them all coming up the board. What is that? I'm not afraid of that. That just looks like uh, he's he's going to try to do some random checks. But I'm sure, I'm sure I can get out of these checks. There you go. I can get out of your check with a check myself. And look at these guys here. Rook g8 coming in. Now he's obviously going to push. And try to check me, get some kind of draw here. Is it good enough? No. Well, I don't know. He could have played on a little bit there with some perpetual ideas. So that was a bit more like it. Okay, what are we going to do now? Let's go for another dragon. But this time, rather than going the main line dragon, I'm going to go for the recommendation that I give. Oh, he's gone for bishop b5 to check Sicilian. Now, this gives me a chance to play one of my pet variations. Uh, I think I've done a video on this somewhere on my YouTube channel. And that is a variation I play with G5. And I really enjoy this. Again, if you've been watching my Blitz games, you probably know my repertoire. Sometimes I play. I'm going to have to divulge it a little bit. But I love this G5 move because normally white plays the line you see here in this game to basically be a bit boring. You know, he plays this line to not get any danger. And as soon as you start throwing Gary up the board, he, he, starts, he starts being a little bit afraid. So... That's that's why I like this line, because it really takes White out of what would generally be his comfort zone. And the comfort zone, of course, is some boring game. Now I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna bother taking this pawn. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna allow him to take so I can try to get my pieces into the game quickly. Now, is that a good idea or is that a bad idea? I don't know. My idea is to move my Queen Castle Queen side and look at my pieces. My pieces seem to be fully developed while my opponents are not so that is my strategy is it going to work let's see and later on i'm hoping with the open g file so i've got my development with the open g file i can land that that right hook and this is this is this is cool this is what you want when you start throwing gary up the board you want some mad position like this surely and that's what i got okay so he's messing about doing some slow maneuvering kind of whatever he's doing uh, I think I did I not lose a game like this the other day um, now he wants to come here with a knight so if I move my bishop he comes here with a knight so here knight here queen e6 looks like it should be all right I want to put my pieces on the most active squares so putting my bishop here 
lining up against his king seems to be the right square. Okay, now he wants to come in here again. Do I have any crash bang wallops here? Well, I've got knight takes here. This just seems like a simple way to play because again if he moves his knight all my pieces are lined up f2 oh you know what I, <laughs> I, I, I you know what i didn't even this is how i'm playing at the moment i didn't even see he was attacking my bishop luckily luckily it doesn't lose on the spot and luckily i'm probably still doing okay here but god i'm i'm, I'm really suffering from a bit of uh, a bit of chess blindness at the moment um but I still think my po my position is is pretty good here. Got the G file. Just need to break through. Knight knight G three. Is that ever an idea? It looks quite cool. Don't know if it's an idea or not. Uh, other ideas are um, well, he's trying to swap the queens off. And even if I do swap the queens off, I still have an attack. But we don't we don't like swapping queens off. We tried that once in my life, and it didn't work well. I'll still I'll still get cold sweats from that. And my friend Simon uh, is asking if I'm still filming. So I'm just saying, yes, Mr. Miss, Mr. Ansel, we are still filming. Um, and okay, so I'm trying another plan here. Um, randomly, randomly uh, just go for the H file. But how do I break through? How do I break through? Um, so, um, okay, we're gonna see. So let's just finish this game before I answer Simon. I'm trying to do like five things at once, never good. Okay, how do we break through here? So he wants to move his king next and move this one. It's got to be a way to increase some pressure here. Uh, now, how though? How? So do I try to get my queen to the h file? Time, Simon. Again, it's a little bit of an issue. What about I set a nasty trap here? My trap is rook takes h2 and knight g4. Check. Because my knight was kind of it was kind of getting in my way there somehow so what about if i go for this what about if i go for some plan where rook takes h2 and knight g4 something along this line another idea i have now so he's moved his queen is to try let's try this the other idea he's got bishop takes here am i worried about that well my idea is to go knight e5 anyway so i'm hoping bishop takes a6 is not a major concern and i want to just get my last piece in okay let's see maybe i should be worried about this because he's suddenly starting to do quite a lot over here. But I, I'm, I'm hoping I'm going to land something over here still. Knight to d5. Opening up my queen. These kind of ideas. Uh, very messy position. Not much time left. Uh, fun position though. It's a fun position isn't it? Fun for someone. I'm not sure fun for who. I'm not sure. Is it fun for me? Is it fun? Okay right. Let's just think now. I need to do some calculations here quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Um, okay, running out of time. Let's go. I mean, let's just try to create some art on the board, shall we? Let's try to create some art. Look at that, self-pinning. Just because I can. Just because I can. Okay, right. Now, does that does that really work? Because I can. I got a nice nasty check there, sir. A nasty check there, sir. Don't do me on time. Don't do me on time. Oh, he's, he's actually, what? He's, he's coming back in the game. Well, I'm still a queen up. Queen up. What's he doing? He's trying to do me on time with some random checks, but we don't, we don't fall for that. We don't fall for your random checks. Ooh, teacher. Take that. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Okay, well, I, I think uh, he, he is, he sh as they say, in Hollywood, in some areas, shot his load here, unless he does. In this, you know, I, I mean, I think after this, I, I don't. Yeah, okay, that's enough. Right, okay. So I'm now. I'll finish this off with um, two games against Simon, and I'm just going to see if I can set this up, um, and see if he wants to be on Skype. Let's see um, if he wants to be on Skype. Do you want? to be on Skype so let's just let's just see if we can get him on Skype shall we that might make it a bit more a bit more interesting yeah and to get his reactions as well can film your reactions as well um, okay cool so we're just gonna play two games I'm gonna get up Simon my good friend Simon's uh, um, video now and I'll put my headphones on so you can hear what he's doing we'll play two quick games to finish this off 
and just have a bit of random fun. This is what happens. Everything's random in the Ginger GM hood. So I'm going to give him a ring now and just get his Skype video up. So uh, let's see if we can do that. I'm going to add Skype to this broadcast. Bear with me. And whoa, uh, hello. Don't, don't. That's not what I wanted. Skype. That's what I wanted. And um, we're just at the Skype box here and get Simon in the shot. And I know we both got work to do, so this will be uh, the last two games. And I'm going to try to take Mr. Simon down. Downtown. You ready to be crushed like a fly? Am I ready? Are you ready to be crushed like... I'm ready, mate. You're ready. Okay, well, let, let me just... Uh, I've got you live now on video, so you're going to be on YouTube, sir. So, you, you ready? It's the first. It's the first. So, um... I've got you above me. So we're going to play so they basically people will be able to hear us both talk Si. Is that cool? That's fine by me, mate. Whenever That's cool. you're ready. Whenever I'm ready. Look, I'm always ready, mate. I'm always ready. I'm always ready for you, Si. So just two games? Two games, yeah. Two games, okay. Right, let's do it, man. Let's do it. So can you uh, can yeah. you get, give me a challenge? I don't know. How does this work? Can you challenge me? Let's see if you can challenge me. Let's try to find you. I'll try to challenge you as well. And... So okay mate i'll do it i'll find you and give you a challenge so side just to let everyone know who's watching this uh you obviously do the website and stuff at ginger gym so anyone who wants to buy a dvd and anything goes wrong you don't blame me you blame this man here is that correct well if anything goes wrong with the, your chest because you bought a dvd then they blame you right that's correct yeah which never happens at all so if you have trouble actually buying a dvd that is entirely my fault which no one has because they're bloody amazing DVDs, aren't they? Um, yeah, it's a bloody amazing website. So. Exactly. So it's all good. And we've known each other for ages. How many times have we play? Because we always have the craziest of games, uh, don't we? We haven't played for a while, have we? We haven't played for a while, no. But no, maybe... we played in the Isle of Man. Yeah, that's true. Oh, the Isle of Man. And we drew that game, didn't we? We drew that game. I got a little bit lucky, I think. Didn't I? A little bit lucky. A couple of years ago, that was, wasn't it? We had I think. good fights back in the day. We did, back in the, the old days. <laughs> I don't know what the score is. It's probably about even now, isn't it? Uh, I think about even, yeah, about even school. So, I mean, we played over the years. And, uh, right, I'm going to challenge you now, Si, so let's get it on. So, Simon, uh, oh, your challenge does not match the, the member's current match settings. What have no, you... bollocks, so I need to change something. Uh, probably. You probably banned me from playing you because uh, you're, you're uh, okay. yes. If oh, The other thing you can do is um, just try to challenge me if you go to... Yeah, yeah. You, me, um, you, you, you can find out how to do that, can't you? So, all right, so this video is going to end with two games. And um, oh, this is what I'm going to... I've got sound effects as well already. Uh, let me just test out some of these sound effects. So what do I do? Custom challenge, right? Uh, yeah, or, or do you see at the bottom of the screen? Are you on the new chess.com? On the new, yeah, the new. Okay, you see there's a little uh, podium thing with 2, 1, 3 or something. It says top players. Um, in the bottom right, there's two boxes on the right-hand side. And... There's like eight. Um, right, yeah, yeah. If you go to the podium and then click up, you'll see my name there. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. And then you, you basically click on me and you, you can like work out how to... How to uh, good, let's rock and roll then. Okay, so we're going to... I know you play this crappy Slav, so we're going to take you down. Take you down, boy. Um, you're going to play the Gala Gambit? I will play the Gala Gambit if you want me you know, to. I've been planning this myself a bit, actually, having watched your... Uh, what's the old Killer D4 DVD? And what a quality DVD that is, Simon, isn't it? It's going pretty well, to be honest. You know, the, the Gala Gambit, I like it. This is. And this is the Gala Gambit, and this is something we both play. So I think we've even had this in some of our encounters, maybe. I don't know. We Probably. So, I you have ever played it against me, just because you give me too much respect for knowing what I'm doing. But, um, but you actually... I'm to demonstrate that is not the case at all. <laughs> and uh, this Night G5 move is, is the danger move, isn't it? To try it is to... the, uh, probably the best one. Best little line, right. and and of course Harry joins in the attack as well. So are you, are you scared yet, Simon? I've been more scared. I've got. got You've been more scared. All oh, right, we're going to have to increase your scare factor. So um, yeah, I think the main move instead of Bishop B seven is B four there. Yeah, but... I'm not, I don't like this at all already because uh... I've got what I want. Castle, you can castle here. I dare you. All right. Oh. Is he a man? Is he a mouse? Like I said, if you if you work for Ginger GM, you have to have balls you the take size. Him a challenge, man. I mean, 
I, yeah, exactly. You have to have balls the size of the moon, don't you, basically? That's our that's one of our rules for working for Ginger GM. One of our mottos. One of our mottos. Balls the size of the moon. <laughs> and, uh, well, what on earth's going on? Well, I know what I'm trying to do. Yeah, I know, I know what you're trying to do as well. I don't see what to do about it. Now, that's what that's I like that's to hear. That's a little counter-attack coming in. Counter-attack. Okay, right. So, Simon is trying a counter-attack. And let's just keep going forwards. We're both going to just try and take each other down, I think. Is that right? Yeah, I think I know who's going to win. But... Well, I, 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 who, who's that, Simon? I don't know if my last move was a great move, but okay. Let's see what's, what's going on here. Right, okay. So, this is getting random as random can get. And, well, okay. Um, what about if I do... I've got so many... T the problem with this position, Simon, I've just got too many good moves. Don't you think? Why don't, why don't you play one of them? <laughs> All right, calm down, sir. Calm down. Okay, there you go. Put that in your pipe. Okay. Um, don't know if that was the best one, actually. That, that was actually... Hmm. Yeah. What's going on, Adam? I don't know. I, I, I've actually got my move order mixed up there, but chaos, I think. Chaos. And I think we have to say, anyone watching this video, if you like it and you want me and Simon to play more, then do let us know. Okay, right. Well, I think... Oh, you can defend that way, can you? Can you? Can you see my... Can I... No, I've just spotted your... You spotted... Bishop f6, that's a bit annoying, isn't it? That is, that is... Or maybe queen f6 if I want to show off. <laughs> but maybe you had knight c2. If I, king, if I go king h8, will you go... Uh... No, king g7, queen f6. Yeah, king h8, queen f6 works, doesn't it? Yeah, I think so. But you can go bishop takes h7. Do the, yeah, but then, uh, it, it, it might be over very, very quickly. I, I, I might just take your queen as well there. So, may, I mean, maybe you had knight c2 in the last position. That's what I was worried about, actually. Yeah, I mean... This, uh, this ain't looking like... Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, oh, this is so kind. We set this up, by the way, just so everyone at home knows, just to make me look good. You know, because I've been looking so crap recently. Simon's a good friend. I paid him fifty pounds earlier to say, "Sai, can you make me look good, please?" When you're paying um, me, it's not it's that hard. <laughs> it's good. I can tell you that. I, wow, you're being quite generous. This is the first time I guess you've talked and played as well. It's quite hard, isn't it, to do? It's. No, I mean. It's all right to do, you've but. Got to manage. You've got to manage, right? What, what about you know in this so position? You, I just want to ask you, mate. While you're while you're here. Yep, sure. What are your thoughts on the uh, British Championships? What are my thoughts on the British Championships? I quite fancy Eggy. What do you think? Eggy? Uh, Eggy? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I really like Eggy. I mean, can, I'll just see if I can bring up the scores quick. Well, I, I won't do that now. But yeah, the British Championships is going on at the moment. It's round seven today, so there's only three games left. Um, and is that right? No, how many games are left? It's 11 rounds. Seven rounds. Seven. Oh, okay. There's loads of rounds left. Five games left. I Well, I think Mickey, the three leaders are Mickey Adams, uh, David Howe, and our Eggy, Eggy, our boy Eggy, who's only an IM. I, I think, I think, obviously, Mickey's still favourite, uh, favourite to win. But he doesn't uh, lose to David today, yeah. Then. He, he, he would be. So it's a big game. But I love to see Eggy get a GM norm anyway, because he's a good friend of ours, good guy. So yeah, I mean, let's hope Eggy does well. Yeah. Um. Right. Should we try one more then? Well, we're doing it, are we? Oh, I'm playing someone else. What the hell's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I just got a challenge. And I... Oh, you got a challenge for someone else. Ah, oh, dear. Oh, can we can we see? Ryan, we'll play again. Okay. Ah, uh, you're gonna drop all your rating just to play uh, a game. I'm concerned about my chest com rating. So it's still hard on my feet, rating. Is it? Yeah. Well, it's my, not especially hard, man. My my chest com rating is about the same as my feed yeah, day rating. Right. Which is bloody embarrassing. Okay, can you uh, let's see if you can challenge me again? That might be easier. Unless I can, unless I can challenge you. Let's see. I'll, I'll try to challenge you this time. Uh, no, I still don't meet your criteria. You decline my challenge. Very selective about them. Very selective who you play. You don't. You don't want to play strong players. Is that it? Okay. Right. So, what should we play now, Simon? Shall we go for? A, um, I should have played the black line. Ah, forgot about it. We're playing. I was confused because the guy, the guy I just played, the game started like this as well. Oh, really? E4, G6, D4, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So maybe it was me, but I just didn't like my, the opening I got. Okay, so let's see. Um, I didn't go knight c six. He didn't go knight c six. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna play it like a king's Indian, basically. Some kind of some kind of king's Indian defense here, um, which I forgotten. No, let's let's just move the pieces out. That's always a good idea, isn't it? This is like a king's Indian defense properly now, isn't it? So I'm, I guess. And now I'm gonna try to Freddy you. 
Freddy. Freddy. I'm going to Freddy you. Freddy is is Freddy is ready. And somehow, yeah, Fred. I actually played his positions at all, which is. Yeah, you're normally uh, you norm or e4 player. So this is uh, the normal plan in this position. Of course, of black is to go f5, and that is what I'm going to try to do here. And oh yeah, oh yeah, baby. Now, 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 do we get? Is this good? Is this good? Do I get a big attack against you? Let's see. So, and now we charge, yeah. Now you charge. I better get my honor and play going, am I? You better, you better get your counter play going on the queen side. Boom! Boom! That's a boom move from Simon. Okay, let's test it. Probably let's... not the best, is it? Well, I don't know. It's a boom move. So, okay, can, we, can I just see if I've got sound effects for your last move? Let's just see if this. Let's... I, okay, I, maybe you'll hear this later on. I don't I know if you. Said boom because I, you told me you had sound effects. Okay, let me just do the sound effects again. Okay, good stuff. <laughs> uh, right. Well, it's not that bad. It's not that bad, is it? I mean, uh, okay, I'm just going to continue. Feels like I've possibly given up that bishop. But... Maybe not, but uh, I've still got to break through. And I don't know. It's Ah, oh, he's gone through. Ah, oh, double pawn sacrifice. Ah, oh, ah, oh, it's, it's again, like I said. When you work for Ginger GM, when you are part of Ginger GM, you have to play like a crazy man. Is that correct? Oh, wow. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, oh. Okay, right. I didn't see that one, obviously. Um, I probably didn't see that one. <laughs> no, I, 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 I did not see that one. Okay, what's happening? What is happening? Oh, my words. A little it... check. Oh, my words. Are you, you uh... oh, God. I don't, I'm not sure I like this anymore. Where's my attack? It's going to come. My attack will come. Okay, now I'm so tempted just to take that. Just to take that off, yeah. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm not even thinking about any other. But the problem is, I don't want to lose my H pawn because then how do I attack you? You've got no attack. I've got no attack. That's it's right. Like Bishop D4 and Knight G3 checkmate one day, you know? Well, one day over the rainbow. Yeah. So, um, okay, look, now my dark square bishop is going to join in, Simon. This is the way to do it. This is the way to do it. I want to keep this piece of iron. Probably, yeah. Ah, boo. Okay, right. So I'm going to have to keep going, aren't I? I'm just going to have to keep keep throwing those pieces at you and just hope. I wouldn't expect anything less. Exactly. You know, you know the way you play. This is maybe just going to collapse around me like a pile of doodah. Okay, in it comes. In it comes. Well, the position's random, I think. Is that is that fair to say? Random crap for someone. I've had, I've had more random positions against you, I think. I think so. Normal think position. Gonna, gonna ah! Ah, boo! What is this? You're sacked. <laughs> <laughs> no one wants you in Ginger GM after this. <laughs> this is the end of it. This is the end of Oh, no. Actually, I don't like this. Okay, right. Well, it's not that bad. Okay, let's 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 go charge him with the king. I'm gonna to try to do you on time, Simon, just to let you know. This like is... you did, uh, like you did before. As before we yeah, were commentating. Game on air, yeah. That's it. That's my my one my one trick. Da, 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 da. Oh, hello. Are you gonna do some naughtiness to me? Let's see. This could get rather random. Yeah, I'm going to do you on time, Simon. Yeah. I'm, I'm just uh, telling you exactly what I'm going to do. I'm playing on my laptop with um, fat pads. That's not the... I'm not uh -huh. the best, I'm afraid. That's all right. I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't bother me. Are you I'm getting... apologising to you. No, no, it's fine. You can be as slow as you like. Um, Are you trying to mate me? I kind of got... I've got some kind of vague plan like this. Yeah. Right. Well, I'm going to have to swap... Yeah. Oh. Oh. I, I do know that Simon's end games are masterful. He is like uh he is like the the second best end game player in Me and Magnus, right? I was gonna say in England, but maybe in the world, Simon, yeah. <laughs> you and Magnus, you're like, you know didn't you do a training camp together once, you and Magnus? Didn't Magnus come up to you and say, Simon, uh, I've heard about your endings, can you can you help me improve Sensei? I don't remember that, but You don't remember that? Oh okay. Maybe Maybe I was imagining that one. Um, 
I'm going to lose on time, aren't I? Should I? Oh, maybe. Probably on the board as well. I don't know. This is, uh, this is looking like a tough position for you. But I'm pro like I said, Simon, oh, you, you're quickening up now. Come on, pawns. Come on. It's all gone right. <laughs> it's all gone. Oh, oh, what's happening here? Ah. Ah. Too slow. Your fifty pounds is in the post, Simon. Yeah. To be more than fifty now, shouldn't it? Hundred pounds. Every every lost fifty pounds. <laughs> right. Well, I better go and do some work, mate. Uh, yeah, go on then. Let's have one more. One more. Well, well, last one, okay. final, final, final one then. Final one. Let's let's do that. So, I've got over twenty four hundred now. I lost about two hundred points on Saturday yeah, I was night. Over twenty four hundred. I started playing you today. But... Ah. <laughs> that is okay. So let's let's have another slav. Let's try another slav now. Yeah, we can do something else. Okay. Let's do it. Let's we'll go against the uh, ah this one. ah this one. This one. What do I have against this one up my? Have you seen this one before? Uh, I've seen it before. I believe it's called. What's it called? The Dutch. Is that right? Now I'm going to play one of the weirdest gambits. This is a Gary O'Gade. Uh, oh, great. I was going to say O'Gady. I don't think that's his name. Gary O'Grady gambit. Are you ready, Simon, for the Gary O'Grady gambit? Are you ready? I do. I know Gary, as you are. Yep. As you well know. He's he's a good friend. And here is the Gary O'Grady gambit. <laughs> I remember this. Yeah. I've and I've. Seen this before. And if he take the queen, Bishop takes his checkmate. It's, it's, it's one of the most ridiculous gambits I've ever seen in, in, in the world, I think. But uh, yeah, it's, it's quite ga dangerous, maybe. It's a bit like the hillbilly. Um, Have you ever played this in a real, real game? Have I, I don't really play the Dutch against you all that often, do they? Not many people play Dutch against me, but yeah. I, I've, I've, never, I've never played it in a real game because it probably is a pile of shite. Um, okay, well... I don't think I need that rook to be honest. I mean, that, that, that rook is just going to get in the way. So I'm going to have I'm going to have to. Gonna take it. I'm going to. I'm basically going to play like Gary O'Grady, because uh, you know, this is if I don't play like Gary O'Grady, then this gambit is not making sense. Loads of compensation, yeah. Uh... <laughs> Are you a believer? <laughs> Are you a believer in the Gary O'Grady gambit? I think in your hands, this could be quite dangerous. But in Gary's on. Not so sure. <laughs> we'll have to get Gary's uh, impression of that. Okay, so you're trying to bring out your queen. Now let, let let's just plonk that there, just to just to sort of, don't know, do do something. Don't know what it's, it's doing. Take everything. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have done that because I'm going to run out of pieces at some point in my life, aren't I? Oh. Wow. Well, yeah. I mean, I guess I have to really. Don't... Calling me a coward. I think be a coward. It's... Cowardly, maybe. I couldn't think of anything better to do, you know. Um, ah, you, you you spotted my one, one. <laughs> my one cheapo threat. Knight takes g6. Um, how do I break through your pawns? Your pawns are pretty good, aren't they? You know. Well, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna. I'm to get Harry going. I've got to get Harry going. It's the only only chance I have. Really, really killer kind of move that you're gonna love. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, no, I ah. Oh. No! Ugh. What's wrong? What's wrong with you, man? Yeah, he's trying to get the queens off and win a piece at the same time. Wah, wah. It's getting the queens off, actually, but the piece. The piece is hard. handy as well. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I might have to resign this one. So, what what conclusions do you think we can draw from the opening, Simon? Um, I think we can conclude that Gary is probably a better player than you. Um, well, okay, that's open for debate, but um, I was thinking the Dutch defence is a brilliant opening. Um, I'm going to resign, but let's just have. Should we have a look at the opening on the board, right? Very that's, quickly. Uh, yeah, I won't be able to see what you're doing, mate. But, um, oh, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, bi bishop e2. Just bishop e2, and this is like called. I don't know. I think this is either the Gary O'Grady gambit or the ten point gambit because. I'm sure Gary came up with this after ten points, maybe. What do you reckon? So, and. Yeah, uh, she played us. Was it against you and a? I think he actually played it in the tournament, or his opponent played it against him in a, in some under under twelve hundred tournament or something, you know, something like that, and probably in Ireland when it when... shows some pretty good imagination actually. <laughs> it does, it does. I know, it's a nice idea because the one trick. I mean, if you had it on uh, what's it, auto move, you know, people have that, then you might 
accidentally do that, and that that would be a nice. Yeah, just the cheap one. But yeah, I mean, you're not really going to move the cheap one again, are you? No, you're not. Unfortunately, no. That, unless you do something really silly. So any improvements anywhere you found? Um, I've now lost the game because I've lo- I've lost the variation. So, quite possibly, so. Si. But yeah, I mean, everyone at home, we just did this on the cuff, but maybe we should do it again. Would you be up for doing it again, Simon? Yeah, Some... maybe. I mean, as you know, I've got a, got a young boy and. Uh... Yeah. I can't really do it in the evening, but yeah, join the day sometime when the family is out. We could give it a go. Yeah. Bit more planning. Good stuff. Yeah, it sounds good, mate. We could maybe do it in a proper, proper sort of way. But I'll I'll get this video up on online anyway soon, mate. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop the video now. So any final words you'd like to say for uh, anyone uh, out there? Well, thanks for having me on. And, uh, thanks for coming on, mate. So. Goes from strength to strength. It does indeed. And uh, we've got to think how we we need people to buy more DVDs, though, don't we? We do, we do. I mean, I think yep. this kind of entertainment is probably worth something, don't you reckon? I reckon it's worth a little purchase in the Ginger GM shop, Indeed. I think. I think everyone should go and buy a DVD now. So, yeah, <laughs> if they haven't done already. All right, well, cheers, guys. Please, yeah, yeah. please. Yeah. Okay, see you later, Si. Catch you soon, mate. Bye. And also, like I say, goodbye to, uh, obviously, everyone who has watched this rather random well, completely random video. Um, don't normally do random weird videos like that, but uh, it was lovely to have Simon online. And like I said, I'll be doing the title Tuesday Blitz whenever this video gets out. Thanks for viewing. I'll be back again soon. Cheers. Goodbye for now. Cheers.